Shalom, shalom, shalom. The Lord is good and His mercy is just forever. To be very honest, sometimes I wonder if people really listen to, you know, the warnings the Lord is allowing us to be bold to speak as the Lord protects us. You know, when the Lord says that um, you who make your friend do, you know, the enemy's friend or you make friends with the enemy, that to God Almighty, the true living Yahweh, Yeshua, Judah, Holy Spirit, to him you are adulterers and adulteresses. It's like you don't even know the evil that these wicked gentiles of Psalm 83 4 has done to you. So you still behave like babes going by eyesight. When I do talk from what I've even searched, I've not even listened to this video sincerely up to three minutes. But well, enough for me to know that I want to share it. This may be a pilot or Esau trying to even win maybe himself views. I don't know. But this is supposed to be someone whom you call a white person. Expose, exposing when they tell you that they are coming for mission trips to your village, to your people, sometimes with their vaccine of diluted poison and all this. They come with AIDS. They say that, uh, you know, all sorts. They play with words. If you're not spiritual, you may not even see the very games and jokes they make. You see, they are coming to help you. They have to present as though they are helping you. So this... You know, reminds me of what I was even sharing in one of my videos. If I see it, I may put this link with it. If it's worth it. Because I'll not listen to the end. So, this is a sharing by this supposed man exposing that when they go for mission trips to your so-called African place, as I was sharing, why are they now seemingly so many Babies, children, or that too, with grandpas, Esau, and they are there doing picture of the baby laughing, or they are doing something good to the baby to make you feel as though oh, these people are caring. No, no, I've always prayed and wished that those children be kept safe by Lord who knows where his children are. Where are the parents of these children? Were they put in orphanage and often orphanage people just sold them out or were they kidnapped? How did these children, young children under two that should still be under one person's care or the other? All these ones that say they are barring for one, one reason or the other. Instead of going for IVF and all these things that exposes them more to the enemy, why don't they go and take these young children of under two, the most vulnerable of them, and please care for them? Look at what this man is saying. <laughs> when they come on mission, you say, ah, these ones are lies. They come to help our children. They are taking them abroad. Most of those children are crossbred uh, into families of gay, of this or that. What kind of training would they get for from those that the Lord say that they are of Hebrews 12, 16? The godless Esau, whom God Almighty hates. What is inside them, since they are the synagogue of Lucifer, that they want to offer us, the children of the earth? For the earth belongs to the Lord. Psalm 24 1. Look at what this young man is saying, beginning to say. The purpose of getting photos like this. These were then published on our daily blog so the leaders could talk about what a great thing we were doing and how selfless we were and how we were spreading God's love and changing the world for the better. One AIDS orphan at a time. Do you see that? That's what they sell to you. But he's saying that this is what they call something porn. Let's sit in from the beginning because I don't want... It's a bit fast, so that's what I'm trying to think. Maybe I should talk in between. perceive this as an innocent picture of me playing with a child but this is actually poverty porn we were sometimes encouraged to interact with poverty porn 
and they really will do porn with these children to do every level behind the camera. What are they doing to our children? If from a child's level, the child is trained to be loose, wayward, godless, into sex, 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 these ones, we, we, they will just turn up that way. It will take God's grace to, to transform them. Why are we doing as if we know more than the Lord God Almighty that describes people in the scripture? That if they hate him, they will hate you. So when the one that's supposed to be hating you show love, you should know that something is fishy. If this man does not come and talk, how will you believe the story except for the bait they've given you? That they want to change the world, one uh, one baby at a time or what? Yet he's saying that they are, they are taking advantage of your so-called poverty. And they call it even poverty porn in their own secret place. Yet the, the, the story they sell to you, you just want to see, see, see. These are part of the flesh in Pharisee that the Lord was saying in Matthew 23, to you they will appear righteous, but they are wicked hypocrites. So now this man is exposing that the Lord your God, Yeshua Yahweh, is correct. That they are wicked hypocrites. It's to you that you see what they present to you. And you don't, the part they don't show you is where the wicked hypocrisy is. See, some of you will just feed on what they show you, replay it, replay it. And when we come and say, I'm, this one that I'm seeing so many of them, there was a time I did a video, so many of them seem to be just coming along my video channel and their babies, babies, see how he lost his grandson, see how he lost his granddaughter and their children, the heads of Esau. God have mercy. The body can take care of the flesh. That was the plan of the Lord, even in Genesis 25, 23. Let the older take care of the younger. Where does younger take care of the older and they do it perfectly? Where? Talk less of those who are godless. Now, listen to what he says though. With the children for the sole purpose of getting photos like this. These were then published on our daily blog so the leaders could talk about what a great thing we were doing and how selfless we were and how we were spreading God's love and changing the world for the better. One so, for some reason, maybe they didn't pay him. I don't know. I'm just speculating. For some reason, he is coming to talk now, but he was part of it. You know, some people are a part of a group. It's when they come out, just like we two were part of George, 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 Roman, George, George, George. Whether they put Roman, they don't. Then we come out and see the difference. That these people are not preparing us for heaven. It's just John 3, 3, John 3, 3, and we think we are born again. We become proud and arrogant. We think we are rich. We, we just laugh. We just continue with everybody. I don't have any enemy. All these things. I see we are greater than our master. Who had the Pharisees as his own enemies? And the, and the tongues and the rocks, the Roman soldiers too, who wanted even him dead before he grew up. Physically and spiritually. So now, you want to be Mr. You just want to relax. God say, <laughs> where you are, as you relax yourself with the world, or 4 John 2, 50 to 17, and you don't take care, you go to friendship, relationship, all these things. I have, I have said it. I have reasons to for what I have learned to why they are coming after a woman now more than ever. Similarly, as this one thing, uh, we are in a relation. One was crying. The man did not want her to take her child or something. Things fell apart from them. It's when things fall apart, you see people revealing secrets, exposing darkness. But we should expose it while we still have time to save ourselves. Expose every walk of darkness. Even amongst us, as much as I don't want to talk about anyone preaching holiness, but if you are preaching and making people think this holiness journey oh, is so difficult, so, so then keep quiet. Let the Holy Spirit be the one to guide us, not you guiding us with something that has no basis in the Word of God. Even being guided by the Word of God, we still need the Holy Spirit's interpretation because of these ones who tell you they are spreading the love of God and yet 
They are looking for children they can have fun with. It's often at a time. This is part three of my story. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about mission trips. I swear, when I hear those words, it doesn't give me... I this. should have stopped that lady. I know she should talk a bit before I started hearing more. Why is she swearing? This is what we are talking. You don't swear. If you swear, you have the evil one. According, let me read it. I've just done a video, you know, that has to do with not swearing. Since all your Lawrence... Who claims that the Lord Jesus Christ is thanking him? All sorts of foolish demons in people talking. Talking. And the youth that sit down there and feed on this rubbish with their, their head uncovered as women and in trouser of jeans. They say God is there. No. It's, it's, even, it's not only Dan that is there. If some people, they are just straightforward demons amongst them. Now... In Matthew chapter, let me address that swearing that this lady swear. This is a channel she was sharing anyway. She also is reporting just um, as I'm trying to bring the awareness of what is happening. So this white one too that come, he saw, I like to say, that come to expose himself. Is maybe he didn't get his pay or something happened. Then he's coming to expose that they are not changing the world. Though. How can the godless bring something to to the world, bring anything good. They are taking advantage of your ignorance of Hosea 4 6 and still coming with what bait to take the most precious gift of yours away. How much is the price of a child? If it was you in that baby now, wouldn't you want someone to shout out for you, cry out for you, rescue you? God is doing his. his spiritually but in his physical you know spiritual bodies to go and do the physical part of snatching that child out of the hands of this one who are going to do all sorts with that that child and who will they report to when they're taking the child far away from home <sighs> god of mercy have mercy so we see it here since the very one can stand the lives of the ones that should even be crying out for our children to be saved from this one who are actually practicing poverty porn and telling you they are coming to save one child in the love of God. All this. Why would they have love of God when they are not of God? It's better we wake up. Oh. It's better we wake up oh, so our children will not be, you know, defiled in such a subtle serpentine way. So I'm looking for that place. This is Matthew 15 now. Let me see. I should have done a memory verse of that. You know, Matthew. Fifteen, I'm coming. Just a minute. Matthew, is it five or fifteen? Well, I'll start to fall to thirty-six. You are worthy, worthy. You see, I read it for another Bible for those who know. So let's read it from this um, one because I've not even colored this here. So what else is I just done? These are sometimes. I like what some people are doing to expose. But why is she swearing? But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all. Either by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is the footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And we are not talking the physical counter, counter fraud. Jerusalem of a bloodshed Palestine. The Jerusalem of Galatian 4.26 is up above so that they don't direct you there to go and link you with demons of Israel there as they tell you they are there for God. Anyway, so don't swear by Jerusalem for it is the city of the great king and do not swear by your head for you cannot even make one here, white or black. All you need to say is simply yes or no. I'm not showing you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond that comes from the evil one. So you're swearing, all of you, actually the one that says he's a man of God, or claims to be a man of God, or your, they are swearing, in, in, in fact, he's, he claims to be swearing in front of us, um, he saw, he saw Jesus of um, NIV, Matthew 27, 16. If not, if he was before the Lord of glory, he wouldn't even have been there swearing. You know, he's in front of the wrong Jesus. That's why he's full of arrogance. So that's it. Oh. So that lady, I don't know what she's swearing for now. What's all the swearing for? We don't need to swear. We can say to be honest. It's not that we are not honest, but you are just emphasizing it. So anyway, so now he is coming like a how do they call those ones that come and like a siren siren blower or whisperer or those who come and expose themselves. That <laughs> they didn't come to spread love to one child at a time or something like that. It's poverty porn. They are taking, you know. Advantage of poverty. We, the children of the earth, the children of the Lord God Almighty, James 2, 5, has God not chosen us to be the inheritance of his heavenly kingdom? We who are poor, consider poor in the eyes of these ones, they take advantage of us. Sometimes, you know, I feel like coming to talk in a way that will shock some people in the sense that I will put like, for you, Esau, you Moab, you China, that you've mocked us, you've laughed at us, you know, you've had your way. Wow. What a way for God, you know, to allow you to, you know, fall into the very habit that seals you for eternal damnation. Foolish ones. You touch anyone that is the apple of God's eyes. In our ignorance, in our slavery, in our whatever we've been through, you still come, you laugh, laugh, laugh at us, take advantage of our babies. You say it's so easy to get their babies. See what we are doing with our babies, their children. The one that even say they are adult, adult that can talk like from money to, to afternoon to their parents. Now they put those ones uh, in detention in Polish. Which language would they be speaking now? To free themselves. They better begin to speak in tongues and pray in tongues for God to help. Since their parents may not even know how to reach Pol Poland. So, yes. It's good to show the lady because that's her work. But the young man we saw earlier took a TikTok and shared his experience from a mission trip he was on in South Africa. And he South did Africa. a little bit of an expose there of the not so good things that went down while he was on the mission trip. It's a long video because he did share quite a lot, so I'll try not to interject as much. To some, this may seem like a joyful picture of me giving a child a toy. What you might not know is that moments after this photo was taken, the toy was forcibly removed from that girl. I should not have been there. So, since you want photo, photo. Oh, God. There's mo so much more. I just know, based on some insights on what I've read, what the Lord has allowed me to read. Wow. Wow. If the Lord speak, one thing, I trust the Lord. I'm not just faking it here. I trust the Lord. In fact, the, the what makes me quiet and just remain still and until I'm sure is that, wow. When the Lord brings his confirmation with one scripture, two scripture, three scripture to confirm, then... It's like, if I want to even be exposed, there's a time I say, if I want to be exposing, it's like you were exposed and uh, Joyce Mayers have done, and Joel Austin, T.D. Jakes, this, there's no need for you to be one by one unless the Lord wants us to really pinpoint some. The point of the Lord is that if they are in their mega and they are not preaching holiness, then I'm not there. You see how the Lord can make you round them up. Easy for you to know. No matter how one wants to convince you, it's because they've not exposed themselves. 
Even some that you may be thinking, will this other person too? Is he among? Is he among? Is he among? How can you be filled with the Holy Spirit and you don't preach holiness? Holiness should have taken over the whole earth. It's truly all this vagal, banga, or what, what English can I do? That just talk, 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 talk. If they have the spirit of the Holy Spirit, their holiness should have taken over. Starting from all the so called mega churches, if God was truly there. But we know that God Almighty has said, I am in the gathering of two or three. After Calvary. Because before Calvary, that was one of the reasons they killed him. Jealousy. Apart from the fact that they couldn't perform miracles as he was. He was putting so much to them. That's the own how they would say that. This man that is so humble, so gentle. He's pulling so much crowd. <laughs> one man, just one man. They are looking for him. See how they broke into the roof of a place where the Lord Yeshua was. Because they wanted to let down the man on the sick bed just to see Jesus. People were coming from high and low. They didn't want anyone but that wonderful Lord and Savior who will heal without collecting money. Freely he gives. But see the ones that say they are representing him. They go and, they go and drain the very children of God they should be serving. Are you greater than your master? See them all. See the ones that lead the mega churches. Should they not have been, you know, the ones making sure that, you know, our children are even safer? As they encourage women, if they were of the Holy Spirit, to be holy, not go into all these other ways of getting babies. Go and get babies of our fellow women who may not be there after, you know, delivery, maybe they passed on. Go and get their children and not their children. Rather than allow Esau to come and do fake missionary something. And who is vetting all these ones? And this photo should never have been taken. Before I continue, I'd like to take a moment to say that you should follow No White Saviors on Instagram. This organization... Don't follow White Saviors. Anyway. I don't even need, I don't need this, but I said, when I saw it, I didn't even get to here. But the place where I got to was where he said that, that place where they gave that child, do you know the child's emotion will come out? She was mad, they are giving me a toy. Oh, may God comfort that child. They gave him to just to see, so that they know that there will be something you see that is honest. The child is laughing, maybe a toddler, maybe a child. They do all this. That's what I was seeing of recent. I said in one of my videos that what's happening in our children in the hands of Esau? What's going on? Where are their mothers? Where are their parents? Even if they are in the orphanage, how much are they paying these orphanage people to just sell our children at like that or what? What's going on here? All this kidnapping, kidnapping, kidnapping in Nigeria. How do we know some of them are going to from these ones? Who come and give some money to some people to just go and kidnap child and, and give to them? I don't know. We can only speculate because the Lord is the one that sees. But the Lord will continue to judge them. None of them will go scot-free. That is my consolation. If not, my heart will have been more burdened. But what I can do now is to intercede to pray, Lord, protect all these children. Please, you are the father to the fatherless. Lord, be there for them. And send Savior, real, you know, saving help is what I mean. The Lord is our Savior. He's the only Savior, not these ones who call themselves white Savior. There's no even black Savior. We are just servants of him. But you know, physical people to represent Christ, go and save those children away from all those who are playing poverty porn with them. So, he said he was there. Why didn't you talk there when he was taking pictures? Is he saying he didn't know what was going on? Why is he even coming out to disclose, to expose? So now, they gave the child a toy and the child may be smiling happy that this is his toy or her toy. But after the picture, he just said that they snatched the toy off the... So they can't even leave the toy for the child. 
You say they are evil, evil that you think they are so this and that. They can't leave the time for the child for taking picture, and they they think heaven is not watching them. This is how heaven was watching Lucifer until he fell to his doom. Yes, the same thing is being repeated again. Only that we are in little little ant 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 single cellular body, either of flesh of Lucifer, you know, body of Dan and body of Judah. So the body of Dan is the devils of John 8.44. The flesh of Lucifer are the satans of Revelation 2.939. We are the temple of the living God. Whom God is going to use once again to expose all these ones, both Pharisee and both flesh, as he used Apostle Peter to expose the ones casting sorcery spells on the whole city of Samaria in the name of great Jew, great power of God. In Acts chapter 8, 9 to 25. So now, they took the toy of the child. And the Lord too will take from you, you wicked ones, what you think you have. Once again, you will not have it. You will go away, according to the scriptures. You will go away, rejected. Hebrews 12. Verse 16, for all your wickedness, for using the name and the titles of God to, to deceive those who only go by eyesight, thinking you have come in peace this time. This is how this one said, they came in peace to the children of Israel that will not vamoose their land after Calvary. God says that uh, they, are, they are coming to wipe you away from being a nation. They have made allegiance according to Psalm 18. Three, four, but they didn't want to believe the words of God. They rather want to believe peace and security. Until these ones that promised them peace and security came upon them suddenly. A time of great tribulation and destruction that can never be repeated. That was when they cleared them off from being a nation as Israel, dragging the rest of us down the valley. If not for the Lord's intervention, where will we in the valley now have been long ago? So it's exposed. The only God knows what happened. You know, when God wants to use them, see, some of you will not believe when we call. You say, I, want, does she, well, I don't hate anybody. I don't want to hate anybody. God is the one that says he hates the wicked ones. He loves righteousness. I hate wickedness, therefore God Yahweh has anointed Yeshua with all of gladness above all his brethren. Because in him is Judah. Judah is been anointed above his brethren. So now they snatch the toy from the girl. They can't even give the child, whether girl or boy. They can't give him that uh, that toy. How much is a toy? Since we are small, sincerely, since we are small, all my siblings, every one of us, I don't think there is all this thing of um, you know being too harsh with property of this age. We are in a dream land, though. Let's use whatever we see to God's glory. To bless people, how much is a uh, toy? They can't even leave the toy with the with the child. So even the child will be confused. I thought they love me. Provides education and a lot of resources to help you understand exactly what the white savior complex is and why it is so wrong and some of the harm that it does. So now it's time for me to talk about what I did and why I lied. The story starts in 2013. My brother just got back from World Challenge trip to Kenya and Tanzania and was telling my group at church. And one of the girls thought, why don't we do a trip like this? But we could actually go out and help people. We could do an aid trip. And one of the leaders happened to have a connection with a charity based in South Africa who supposedly helped AIDS orphans. And he convinced us it was going to be this really good idea and that we could serve the world in the name of Jesus Christ and spread God's love and, and really help people. So we started organising events and attending events in order of our cause to try and raise money. Have you noticed now? They said Jesus Christ. We will serve the world in the name of Jesus Christ. They know how to know the name, the translated of the Lord Yeshua as being Jesus Christ. They put the Christ there. 
But when they want to do something in their own to to make you agree with them, they use Jesus alone. But let's even leave that side. And the lives of those who even say Jesus is out of disrespect. That's why they are chanting indirectly and calling on Barabbas of NIV Matthew 27 16. But now, just as the way they lied and said they are the Israel, they are the Israel. How can Esau Edom be Israel? How can he be Jacob and Esau at the same time? Jacob is Israel. Esau is Edom. How can Esau, the white one, now claim that he's of the earth? The Lord is the earth. He's the owner of the earth. He is earth himself. So how can you, who are flesh, ground, come and use the name Israel to fight Palestine in your fake Jerusalem to deceive? The agenda is to carry on the, the deception of Lucifer. Revelation 12, 9. So now they are doing this rubbish and now they are using Jesus Christ. Even connecting themselves more closely than just using Jesus to Yeshua. And so, <laughs> Yeshua is coming soon to put on you scapegoats. To put on you again, once again, all the lawlessness that will be banished away from Israel. Romans 11, 26. You see why the Lord is coming for all Israel and not for all so-called Christians. Because some of you will say, ah, this one are doing good. Though. They don't expose themselves. They are doing good. Though. They are doing this. We can't even talk and correct you again because you are so mesmerized. Since you know, if you don't know the truth of God's word, you will still be deceived by them. Matthew 23, 28. Even by those who look like you are uh, inside their they are still flesh, is all. The Lord of glory say to you they will appear righteous, but they are wicked hypocrites. This this young man is just telling you who they really are, that they are actually wicked hypocrites, just as your Lord warned you. Since you want things, how many times will people expose themselves? Before people come to expose themselves, many other situations have been gone with on under you know your nose without you knowing how many times does things happen to the answer that people expose uh, this prophet as stealing their child expose this is not what they come they don't do no there's no mission the godless can do there is no mission once the lord convicts you of you is for you to believe either the lord or believe masses of those being deceived since some of you see, sit down to the to, to, to likes of um, Joyce Mayer and let her be the one to feed you. You think it's not your money. You think it is not, there's no money, no mammon. You think somebody will bother about coming to teach you anything that even sounds like the form of godliness you should be running away from, according to Second Timothy 3.5. So, I'm not yet aware of what more is going to reveal because I didn't watch it to this SM before I even thought, let me record it. first problem occurred. We would say at the beginning of every presentation that there were 53 million aid in South Africa and he did a little bit of an expose there of the not forced to be removed from that girl. I should not have been there and this photo should never have been taken. Before I continue, I'd like to take a moment to say that you should follow No White Saviors on Instagram. This organization provides education and a lot of resources to help you understand exactly what the white savior complex is and why it is so wrong and some of the harm that it does. So now it's time for me to talk about what I did and why I lied. The story starts in 2013. My brother just got back from World Challenge trip to Kenya and Tanzania and was telling my group at church. And one of the girls thought, why don't we do a trip like this? But we could actually go out and help people. We could do an aid trip. And one of the leaders happened to have a connection with a charity based in South Africa hmm. who supposedly helped AIDS orphans. And he convinced us it was going to be this really good idea and that we could serve the world in the name of Jesus Christ hmm. and spread God's love and, and really help people. Hmm. So we started organizing events and attending events in all of our cause to try and raise money. And this is where the first problem occurred. We would say at the beginning of every presentation that there were 53 million AIDS orphans in sub-Saharan Africa. 
That number is incorrect. I believe it's actually around 11 million. Um, we've just been given like this information from the charity to read it out. When a couple of us found out, although 11 million is still a massive number and it's still awful, we were kind of just told to just brush it under the carpet. It might not seem like a big problem, but it should have been a red flag. The Petra liars, really, they are. And not even the ones who claim to be good Christians or love Jesus are excluded. As we already know, they continue to promote lies and negative stereotypes about Africa. The second issue, cultural appropriation of a culture that doesn't even exist. We were made to run these events about all the horrible things going on, particularly in South Africa. And we had to sing a song at the beginning as a group called Adiamus by Carl Jenkins. People were led to believe this was a song in an African language, but in fact, Adiamus is not a language at all. It's just random sounds which happen to resemble Latin a bit. Third problem, donations. My mum disagreed with the idea that we should spend the money that was raised. That may be a demonic song. Since they are now even teaching, the ones that should know better are even teaching our children, youth of tomorrow, tomorrow's supposed leader, to chant, to do this. Sincerely, even if you say want to cry, I see if tears can do. I just say, why will you want? I don't know why God will give me, but I thank God. I'm not going to question. I want to say, I, I, sometimes I wonder why God will give me this body, but there is the body to speak out and to pray. And this one's that many of you are saying, rest in peace, rest in peace. Please go and sit down unless the Lord told you that person is with me. The day the holiness and uh, preacher using that because that can that have been proven that I've seen in the scripture. Because when you know how scripture in the in the Bible, then you'll be arguing too. You'll be arguing like the one who doesn't know whether she's going forward to the cross or going back to the time of um, uh, Jeroboam. Yeah, all their righteousness is like filthy rags. So you nullify the blood of Jesus, washing you white as snow or whiter than snow you know so the point i was going to make actually is that the holiness you know preacher then when i was still on youtube preaching also holiness you know so you know more of yourselves we are more together i was speaking more in english and french then he was saying that um, the lord one of his uh, revelation or you know his um encounters with the Lord was that Solomon is not with him. That the Lord confirmed that Solomon is not with the Lord. But me, because I knew half um, scripture then, I know why you think you have knowledge of some scripture. If you don't balance it well, you just think that's it. That's all it is. It's almost like those who say, the Lord did not tell us how we should lay with our wives or spouse in bed. Yes, Song of Solomon 2.6 is there. So now they keep quiet. By the time they know the truth, they've already learnt all their oral sex and all the hanging, all the rubbish. Let's even think, if you have the Spirit of God in you, you know, you'll be like a brother, the brother I call Brother Jeremiah. He said that he has always not liked these jeans. Even when these jeans came from this hip-hop, rock, rock and roll music, you will know that it's the world that begin to have their attire and they flood it down to the market. Yet our children wait and they don't see. I even know more about it. If I begin to break it down, it will be too much. But I'm saying that, Lord, I want to say some things. Let it be after the Lord has even transformed us. So now we're already transformed. They can't say we are not saying the truth. So much mighty truth of Jeremiah 33 3, that the Lord said, Call upon me. I will show you great and mighty truth you don't know. They are the one that even say, even if it's still there, many years ago, that they put Elizabeth in the Bible. They wanted, because there's another Elizabeth before this one, Elizabeth 1, before Elizabeth 2. They put her in the Bible in the name of edition, all these Bibles that are less than 100 years. They put her there and push Anna inside, inside. So you to just say Elizabeth gave birth to John. We just read as if no, no, nothing. Let us wake up. Our redemption is near. This kind of exposure. Some people say leave people alone, leave people alone. Eh? We should leave people alone. When God says expose every works of darkness, if you see it, you didn't expose. Eh? How do you know whether your own 
child too will go to somewhere that if somebody have exposed, you will not have, you will not have sent your child there and he will have been safe. So it's good to expose, not just keep quiet, get exposed. Don't let anybody bribe you into silence. So this one now is um, confessing. Only God knows what happened, why he confessed. He shouldn't have been there. You see, they said, I know that they are liars. I said it that even these 14 books that they said yeah, it's 14 books they removed though, from the original KJV Bible. 14 books! Why would you? But I know why. Part of the reason why they remove is that they have removed books to show you that some events have happened before Calvary. Or before, yes, before Calvary and 70 years after Calvary. So now they are bringing that event and pushing it into your future. Since you don't know it has gone past. So they remove. But my point to going there is that I even thought that it may well be 41 books they removed. And they flip it and say it's 14. These people, or this seed of Lucifer, what they do is to kill, steal, destroy, they are the cheat liar, supplanter. Now we'll do a video Watch by the grace of God. As the Lord help me, even me, I don't know how it's go this time, but I've preached about it before. Titled The Red Cord. How originally by birth, literally physical, spiritual, Jacob is a rightful false born son. It has nothing to do with this rescue. This rescue is just a way of Jacob, knowing that this one is very stubborn in the book of Joshua, the Lord said he put it in the mind of Jacob. Rather, who would have just given his brother the street to go walk himself away? After running from killing Nimrod, who would have just given him, but the Lord put 